all right all let's have a, a quick session about python functions which is going to be supportive for advanced level ict syllabus right because uh, in advanced level ict syllabus we have to use python as a programming language uh, under programming topic so here uh, about when we talk about python functions uh, let's assume that you know the basics of Python, at least the print statement, right? Okay, so Python functions, when we talk about that, we have mainly two types of functions in Python. Yeah, let me mention that. There are mainly two types of functions in Python. One type is actually which is ready-made and available, which is known as user-defined functions. Uh, sorry, <laughs> ready-made and available, which is known as predefined functions. Predefined functions. Okay, predefined functions. So these are also known as built-in functions of Python language built-in functions which are like created already created and available we just have to use those right and then we have user-defined functions right user-defined functions so these actually like you know uh, ready-made and tailor-made clothes it's like ready-made clothes uh, you just have to use those buy and use those that's it uh, use in the sense where those yeah and but whereas if you need to have a perfect fit then you can definitely go for tailor-made ones right so tailor-made ones are there so tailor-made ones are like you know user-defined ones the ready-made ones are like the predefined ones right so okay so we actually know the predefined functions what how do you know that yeah so let me take a small example all of you must be knowing the print function obviously so if i say print and within double quotes say hello or else in the next line if i say print and just say hi so this is going to definitely give us two different outputs so what is the main task of this print function print function is going to output something or display something in the python shell when i run the program definitely it's going to display this on the python shell so if I'm going to run this program, the first print statement is going to display hello and the second print statement is going to display hi. What is there, need? That is, what is there uh, for us to understand in here? Okay, there is something special in here. That is, this print function is a function which is defined by the Python language and that's why we can use it in here. Actually, we are just calling the function and making use of it, right? Based on the value that we pass for this function, what the function going to display is going to get different, obviously. The first print statement, when I pass the value hello, this argument hello to it, definitely it's going to output hello. And when I'm going to pass hi, it's going to output hi. So that's how print function works. So basically, there's something that we have to learn in here, that is, based on the values that we pass for the function, the way that the function works can be different. All right, so having that in mind, user defined function. What do you mean by that? The functions defined by us, we being programmers, we can create functions in the Python source code. As we, as we type the code, we can just create the functions and we can make use of the, those functions to achieve our uh, certain tasks within the program. Right, so let's see how to define the user defined functions, right? So how can we define a function in Python? Let's see, right. So first of all, yeah, the heading, user-defined functions. User-defined functions in Python, right. When we are defining the, a function in Python, there is something special that we should not forget about. That is, there is a keyword. The keyword is def okay def keyword right def keyword can be used to define a function 
in Python. So let's see how exactly to make use of this def keyword and define a function in Python. Okay, so this is how to do it. Pretty simple. Just mention the term def first of all the keyword and then afterwards you can mention the identifier, uh, the name of the function. So I'm going to say for example greeting. My function name is going to be greeting and then uh, within brackets I can uh, define the things that I need to achieve this function. Let's say I need to have a name to greet a person. So I'm going to mention name here which is going to be a parameter, a requirement, uh, a parameter variable which I'm going to expect a value from the user to this right in order to carry out the function tasks. So here def greeting name and then I'm going to put a colon. So this is the first line of the function and then I have to define the content within the function body right when we are defining the content within the function body definitely while you are typing this soon after you mention this colon and you when you hit enter automatically in the next line the content will be indented in the sense tabbed not just a spacebar space it's a tabbed space right so here uh, the content will be tabbed in the next line so uh, let me mention the content of the function what this function is going to do so it's going to just simply display let's say print hello and the name so you can see I'm using built-in function of the Python, uh, Python uh, which is print statement the print function uh, within my greeting function right so yeah so let's see how this is done so we have def keyword this def keyword is used to define the function and here we have greeting what do you mean by greeting in here this is the identifier of the function okay what do you mean by identifier English please okay this is the name of the function not much of jargons there and then name what is this what is this the things that we need to achieve the function also known as parameters right parameters so here I have only one parameter and this content over here whatever the things that I define in here it's going to be the function body the content inside the function so don't forget that always the content inside the function must be indented if you just mention one line of statement soon after this uh, which is not indented which will keep aligned with the def statement d over here it says that the statement is actually out of the function right so this is a basic function which is defined using python okay fine so uh, let's see how to use this function then right so i'm going to now consume my function by just calling it in here i'm going to align, align the content in here wait so just say greeting John and say greeting Tehran right so you can see now this content is actually aligned with this D so which means it is outside of the function right so I'm making use of the function here uh, don't we have a better term for that rather than saying just making use of the function yeah these are known as function calls right so we call the function here function calls so I have now reused this function which I have defined over here by calling it twice I have reused it so when I say greeting and if I pass the argument John which means value John for this parameter which is name this John is going to get assigned for this name parameter and then it will be used inside the function along with hello statement. So the output in this case in the first call of the Python the output is going to be hello John. In the second call the output is going to be hello Tehran. 
right so this is basically this is just a very very basic of how to define a user defined function in python and this function i must tell you something special this function that i have taken in here is a non return type function what is that yeah, we have return type functions and non-return type functions, two types of functions in Python. Let's learn that in the next video. Bye.